GE is, you know, the world's largest manufacturer of uh, diesel electric locomotives. And we've been doing this for over 100 years. And as far as India is concerned, we are setting up a large factory with a $200 million investment in the state of Bihar as part of the PPP partnership, which we signed with the Indian Railways two years back. Now, this factory is going to produce 1,000 locomotives over the next 10 years, which will be state-of-the-art locomotives, digitally connected, and of course, we will be setting up two maintenance facilities, would be smart shops. So all put together, this is going to modernize the way Indian Railways operates its diesel electric locomotive fleet. It will bring in more efficiency, more productivity, and of course, growth for freight business for the Indian Railways. Globally, we are present in every part of the world. I mean, uh, you name any large country or small, you would find these locomotives running in those places. The other big initiative which we are driving right now is really around digital. So G is investing as a company heavily into digital technologies. We've announced that. Uh, we have launched a platform called Predix, which is going to be like the iOS for an Apple iPhone or an Android for an Android phone. It's going to be a common platform on which, which is going to be agnostic to the technology which it is backing up. You can write applications, you can develop new solutions which will cater to the improvement of asset optimization as well as network optimization when it comes to applying digital technologies into rail networks. So that's what GE is up to. Really our focus from an um, India standpoint is around building this factory, delivering these locomotives which are going to be the state of the art, most fuel efficient, green, emission friendly and finally, of course, enable Indian Railways network by introducing digital technology. The expertise and the domain here develops with years and years of experience. So as I mentioned to you earlier, G has been in this business for over 100 years and we have catered to all different kinds of challenges across the world. They could be, you know, difficult terrains, they could be, you know, high gradient tracks, they could be efficient transportation system, so we've done all of it. So I, I personally think, I think it's, I would not point to a particular kind of specific expert. What I would say is the years of experience and the proven track record is what matters when you are executing large and complicated projects like the one we have. As long as you're talking about core technologies, these technologies are very, very specific. They need deep expertise, they need investments, both in terms of time and resources. You would have to make significant upfront investments to be able to cater to that kind of a requirement when it comes to technology adoption.